Hello again, I'm Pizza Bowl, and today in the third lesson of my Python course, we'll be learning about variables. But first, I'll quickly quiz you on the topic we covered in the last video. If you haven't watched those videos but you're new to Python, I do recommend you watch them for a proper understanding of this lesson. So, question one. What do strings look like? Is it A, a number with quotes around it, B, text with parentheses surrounding it, C, a number with no quotes, or D, text enclosed in quotes? If you chose D, well done! A string is made up of text enclosed in quotes. Question 2. Which of the statements below returns hello? Could the answer be A, B, or C? If you thought the answer was B, you're totally right. Now, without further ado, let's get started on today's lesson. The main topic of today is variables. I imagine variables as a box. Inside your box is what's called the value of your variable. Then the box has a label. Whenever you say that label in your code, you'll get back the value inside the box. Making a variable is not that difficult. First of all, you need to start off with the label. However, one peculiar trait of a variable's label is that it doesn't need quotes. Even though the name is technically a string because it's not an actual Python command, Python needs no quotes, so it doesn't confuse a variable name with a real string. I'll go into more detail later. As a consequence of no need for quotes, you can only make a variable which has alphanumeric characters and the underscore. Also, a number cannot be the first character in a variable name. Moving on, you need an equal sign, and that's it, preferably with a space before and after it. Then you have to type the actual contents of the box. However, this does have to follow the rules, such as quotes for strings, unlike the variable name. Going back a bit, the reason variable names can't have apostrophes is this. So imagine you make a variable, let's say it was called greeting, and set it to the value hello. So now you want to program a print command to spit out the contents of greeting. If you put quotes on the name greeting, Python would get confused. Instead of outputting the contents of the variable, it just says greeting. But now try saying greeting without quotes. Since you already made the variable greeting, Python knows this is a call to the variable's value as opposed to a string you forgot to put quotes on. Still with me? I hope so. It's time to introduce you to a new type. Aside from strings and integers, there are plenty more types in Python, one of them called a list. Just like it sounds, a list lists items. These items can be any of the types we mentioned before, a string, integer, or even another list. To make a list, you need square brackets. Inside those square brackets, you literally just type in the items, with proper rules, and separate them with commas. You can also use other variables too instead of the raw string of it or integer. Okay, so now that you've been introduced to lists and hopefully got the hang of variable assignment, before I go, I want to tell you that I've included a link to a little conda quiz in the description covering what we did today. It's a notebook which I suggest you complete for a challenge. To download it, click on the link in the description, and then right-click the page. You should see the option Save As come up. Click Save As, and change the file ending to .ipynb instead of .ipynb.txt. Then you'll want to go to Text or Text File, and select All Files. Now you're ready to complete the challenges which I'll be adding every week. Great, I'll see you next Monday to extend your knowledge on lists and their various attributes. Have an awesome week!